E W S. The Overnight Underground Podcast. Here's the headlines. We're losing our meat. Where's Kim? Biden wants economic intercourse. Drive through dildos. Naked German doctors and celebrities' faces are deflating. These stories and more coming up on today's Overnight Underground News. I'm John Ford. Forget about toilet paper shortages. We won't need any, anywho, because the next shortage is food. The Detroit News reports that the U.S. could be just weeks away from meat shortages. Due to that damn coronavirus, a third of U.S. pork capacity is shut down. And in the U.S., Canada, and Brazil, which amount for roughly 65% of the world's meat trade, suppliers are shutting down or just struggling to stay open. All of this is causing prices to spike. U.S. wholesale beef touched a record last week, and wholesale pork soared just under 30%. Supply chain issues led food giant Tyson to take out a full-page ad in the New York Times, stating that the, quote, food supply chain is breaking. That's all, folks. But don't worry. Fearless leader Trump ain't going to let us become a bunch of mamby-pamby, wimpy vegetarians. Word is the president plans to order meat processing plants to stay open, making them critical infrastructure under the Defense Production Act. God bless Merca. Oh, now this is getting fun. Yesterday, the Overnight Underground reported that, according to a Japanese newspaper, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un was on death's bed due to a botched heart operation. South Korea officials are now saying that it's possible the leader is in hiding from the coronavirus. And there's that fake picture of Kim in a coffin. Have you seen that yet? That surfaced this morning. Link to that available on OvernightUnderground.com. Now comes word from foreign affairs expert and Asia analyst Gordon Chang that the fat bastard leader was killed or hurt during a missile launch. He blowed up. He blowed up real good. good. (laughs) Kim missed both the Day of the Sun celebration and the founding of the Korean People's Army celebration on Sunday. There was an accident on April 14th when North Korea launched a barrage of cruise missiles. Kim was on scene and was wounded. Gordon Chang on Fox News. Kim Jong-un the only world leader with more chins in a Chinese phone directory. What kind of cheap shot? This just in. Joe Biden says we need more intercourse. If, in fact, for example, we solve the problem in the United States of America and you don't solve it in other parts of the world, you know what's going to happen. We're going to have you're going to have travel bans. You're going to not be able to do have have economic intercourse around the world. There's a lot. I know. He said we need more economic intercourse. Does that mean more hookers? Economic intercourse around the world. Maybe it's more like feeling up an unwilling employee. You know, at this point, it seems that both Democrat and Republican candidates running for president are pussy grabbers. Maybe we could have a bipartisan economic orgy. Economic intercourse around the world. Texas has started curbside service for retail customers this week. And of course, all the important businesses are offering their goods curbside. In San Antonio, if you need a sex toy stat, Hustler Hollywood's got you covered. The San Antonio Current reports that you just place a phone call, order your merchandise, and drive through for your dildo. It's a modern marvel. I tell you what. In somewhat unrelated news, doctors in Germany are taking pictures of themselves in the nude. The physicians are posting the pictures as a protest over shortages of masks, gloves, and other personal protective equipment and disinfectant during the pandemic. You can view the naked doctors on their website. Blanky Beddingkern. I have no idea. Brunken Krappen, which roughly translates to bare concerns. But don't expect it to become your new personal erotica site, if you know what I mean. Ring, ring, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. The link is available at the Overnight Underground website, if you dare. Lots of schnitz and grooving. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no reason to visit Tijuana during the COVID crisis for one last fling south of the border. The Mexican city is doing okay with toilet paper and other essentials, but according to the Border Report website, Tijuana is running out of beer. Oh, I never touch the stuff, except when I'm working. The COVID shutdown has caused breweries in Mexico to shutter, and Mexican beer is darn near impossible to find in most markets and liquor stores in Tijuana. Unnamed sources, however, are reporting that there is still plenty of barbecued iguana. Well, this might be a problem. The governor of Illinois, J.B. Pritzker, has passed a law that requires everyone over the age of two to start wearing face masks in public beginning next month. According to Fox Illinois, the problem lies with firearm owners who have perfectly legal concealed carry permits in Illinois. 
According to Illinois Statutes, Chapter 38, Section 24-1, under the unlawful use of weapons, if a person, quote, carries or possesses in a vehicle or on or about his or her or its, or insert whatever pronoun you want, person, any pistol, revolver, stun gun, or taser, or firearm, or ballistic knife when he or she or it is hooded, robed, or masked in such a manner to conceal his or her or its identity. The crux of the biscuit is this, so if you have a perfectly legal firearm and you're wearing a mandatory mask, you're subject to a Class 2 felony charge. That could land concealed carriers in the pokey for up to three years. I guess Pritzker didn't think his cunning plan all the way through. Americans are at their breaking point in the pandemic lockdown. An astounding 100% of Americans say that if the lockdown lasts six months, they'll snap, and 25% say they've already reached that point. The research funded by Kelson Global notes that the factors driving us to ruin include loneliness, frequent arguments with loved ones, and constant anxiety. And it seems that the younger you are, the less patience you have for locking down. Nearly 60% of surveyed Generation Xers said they'll reach their breaking point after four weeks. And a whopping 80% said they'll only be able to handle another two months of lockdown. You know, your grandparents stormed the beaches of Normandy and Okinawa, suffered the Dust Bowl and the Great Depression, but our little snowflakes can't even stay at home, play video games and watch Netflix and porn without going postal. Forget about the problems of the young, what about the problems of the rich? According to that bastion of journalistic integrity, Jezebel, celebrities' faces are deflating during the pandemic. <laughs> it seems that Jezebel talked to a number of plastic surgeons to see how all those celebs with all that work done on their mugs might be dealing with the social distancing and lockdowns. Take Botox, for example. It requires upkeep and maintenance shots every few months. Dr. Anthony Yeo notes, once the Botox wears off, the wrinkles will start to return, and eventually the faces start to deflate. What's this funny little old string around your nose? Don't touch that string! <laughs> Sounds like fun. Let me get my bicycle pump. Howard Stern is being edgy, again, in an attempt to become relevant, again. It seems the one-time shock jock thinks that President Trump supporters should inject bleach and drop dead. I mean, I would love if Donald would get on TV and take an injection of Clorox. And let's see if his theory works. Let him volunteer. And, or hold a big rally. Say, fuck this coronavirus with all of his followers. And let them all hug each other and kiss each other and, and, and have a big, big rally. Big cocktail of disinfectant. Yeah, and all take disinfectant. <laughs> and all drop dead. <laughs> that's Howard Stern on his Monday Sirius XM show. Pay attention, President Trump. Now that's what you call sarcasm. N E W S. A mostly correct and occasionally incomplete transcript and links to reference sources and articles of this Overnight Underground can be found at OvernightUnderground.com.